Yo, yo, what's going on? It's Alfie, mastermixing.com. Um, today's just going to be a quick video. I'm um, just going to talk a little bit about the difference between um, bad mixing to good mixing to great um, mixing <clears throat> or like outstanding mixing. Um, the differences between the stages and sort of how you can kind of progress between each one. And then I'm just going to play a little bit back of this and then just do some interpretation and stuff. Um, blah blah. So yeah, this is a this is gonna be a nerdy episode, <laughs> but um, yeah. So jumping right in. Um, basically, I feel like with mixing, um, there's three stages. Um, so your first stage is is gonna be a bad mixer or bad mixing. You can't avoid that stage. Um, you can start a bit ahead of people just because you know like natural ear or maybe been playing mu music instruments for a long time. Blah 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 stuff like that or or not and you start roughly at the same level now the difference between a bad mixer and a good mixer i'd say is purely just practice and experience um obviously the technical stuff that you'll learn a long time but the actual physically mixing like let's say somebody went to university for mixing but they never did any practical they just learn all the theory the concepts and stuff like that yeah that person still has to go and put in the same amount of time to actually develop the skill of mixing as someone who just just went I was gonna say some craziness. Um that just jumped right in and wanted to get started. That mixer is gonna is gonna end up being a better mixer than the one that went to university and studied all of the courses and never actually just got onto the decks and onto the computer to start mixing because it's a very hands on um effort. <laughs> <laughs> hands-on effort it's a very um hands-on kind of um craft to have and you only get better with time and with experience you just start to feel things um and that kind of leads into the difference between a good mixer and a phenomenal mixer it's fucking motorbike outside bro anyway yeah so good mixer great mixer good mixer has some experience um in the line you know it's been mixing for some time now for a little bit now mixed a lot of different types of beats and songs and everything's together um knows a lot of the technicalities knows what they what they probably should do as a rule of thumb here there and everywhere but what makes a phenomenal mixer is they have all of what i said before they've got more experience they've been doing it for longer and they've just got heart for the musicality like the musicality of the mix is a whole different like slash apple pie mate because mate <laughs> that pie like the thing about mixing is at the end of the day all of this is music and music is subjective you know so someone who could could have been mixing and had bare grammys and stuff like that you might listen to one of their mixes and think this isn't that great and then someone else might listen to it and think this is this is crazy like i understand why you have grammys blah 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 blah, blah. so it's always subjective at the end of the day now with a great mixer not only are you gonna nail and mash up the the, the technical parts of you know doing getting this punchy blah 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 but you really get to kind of you you'll have an insight into the whatever you're mixing and it's like you'll be able to add your kind of flavoring onto the onto the production as as corny as that sounds so when you're just good yeah you might hear a kick you might be like, ah, i want it more punchy bomb compression blah blah ah, it's more punchy now um but as a great mix we might think uh, yeah, I want it more punchy, but you know what? For these next four bars, I want it to have a crescendo of sound to really build up how the artist is going in from the pre-chorus into the chorus, blah, blah, blah. Just more detailed stuff like that that overall doesn't seem like much, but added together can really take something from bland to amazing or from good to amazing. So it's really the small details and it's the feeling. Um, A great mixer has the feelings, like the feelings have been honed and ironed in ironed ironed like they've been melted molten gold molten rock whatever bruv and it's just you just know the feelings you know what i'm saying so um to give an example um i'm gonna play this as like pretending and i'm okay all right never mind I'm just going to play this and then I'm going to hear for things that I think could be changed on a more musical, musicality level than just a mixing level. I don't even know how low this is right now. Mm.
I actually really um quite like how it's now. What right? from a musicality perspective of things, I might think, all right, I'd like a bit more texture in the main sound. Um, I'd like maybe to layer it with some bells to give it more of a thump, thick um texture. Um, I might want to add a little bit of reverb to make to to make the beat feel more wide and full and distant and dark and scary to kind of personify the scary um vibe there is of the beat or well, not scary but you know serious dark I'll just boost the hi-hats a little bit And like they see, yeah, I've definitely heard this from someone, but I don't care. For now, I'm copywriting this as my own phrase. Um, when mixing, and even just when beat making, when you find yourself starting to nod, and then you, you've, you've realised that you've started to nod, but you didn't realise when you started. <laughs> you didn't realise when you started to nod, but you've found yourself nodding. It's like you woke up nodding, you're like, oh shit, like, yeah. Then you know you're very close to on the right track, or very close to finishing off. Like, you got the fundamentals is there from when you're bopping to your thing so yeah um this has been a very basic video not much theory but a lot of i mean not much practical but a lot of theory theoretical um concepts that i think are important to take on early um i hope you've enjoyed this um please check the link in the description for my beat mixing secrets mixing and mastering master course um it's crazy. It's honestly, it's the only course you'll ever need to really have your beat sounding magnificent, your production sounding crazy. Like honestly, every last thing I know about mixing is in that course. So really go check that out and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know um what other videos you'd like me to do stuff on. Uh, just some feedback for me. What you didn't like, what you know, just stuff like that, so I can give you a better experience moving forward. Yeah. So, all right, again, it's Alfie from mastermixing.com. Take care.